Today, Jessica and I are doing something we've been wanting to do for quite some time, and that's this haunt in Lee, New Hampshire called Haunted Overload. Now, we're not gonna be doing the nighttime haunt where there's scares and people jumping out at you. Instead, we're walking through it in broad daylight, which to some, they might be like, why are you doing that? Well, once you see this video from beginning to end, and I recommend you watch it all, watch all of our videos from beginning to end, you'll see why you need to visit this place during the daylight. Well, here we go. Haunted Overload. I can't believe that we are actually doing this. Seen pictures online and been wanting to come here for years. And we had to stop while we're up here in, well, this is New Hampshire. Keep forgetting that we've been through so many states. Gotta walk through this properly. Oh man, you see the pumpkin, Jessica? Now there's just so much to see here. I don't think we're gonna be able to show everything. And obviously at nighttime, this place turns into an actual haunt with scare actors. But we wanted to walk through during the day. I don't think we've actually gotten inside the haunted overload proper. And I'm just in awe of the walkway with the corn stalks and the, this, this fence. I mean, this is, this is beautiful. I originally had seen pictures of this place during the day, so that's how I wanted to come and experience it. But I can see that they have so many lights set up, especially along the corn rows, which to me means at night, this place is going to be amazing. And I kind of wish I could see it, but I, I have this formulation in my head of like going through it during the day. And I'm so excited. They got giant pumpkins and faces and these ghostly coffins in here. And I have, a, I have a feeling as soon as we turn this corner, we're gonna start seeing a lot of this stuff. And all, all of this is handmade. Yeah. This isn't stuff that they button, that you can buy in the store. This is all no. things that they've made from scratch. And this is one of the best haunted houses in the country. Yeah, one of my favorite things is actually through like their Instagram, they show you making all this stuff and it's impressive. Oh my God, I'm shaking right now. Well, it looks like we've officially found the entrance to Haunted Overload. So excited. All right, let's get this going, walking through this place. I feel like I want to whisper. Like I might get something attacking me if I, if I talk too loud. Right, this is gorgeous. What a perfect fall day to experience this, right? Yeah. Oh, he's my favorite. <laughs> All right, baby ghoul. If we ever have property, we need to make our backyard look like this. Now, I'm not sure if this is the walkway that we're gonna be taking, but there definitely is a walkway here that's lined with human skeletons, or shall I say human remains. So you, you can actually go inside the houses? Or like the pathway takes you through there? That was a oh my God. Look at this. How did you not miss see this coming around the corner? I was excited to try to see if I can get on the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Again, as we walk through here, you gotta keep in mind that all of this stuff 
is handmade. Well, they made everything. I'm sure they bought a few different things, but they pretty much changed it and created this entire world. That is, I've never seen anything like this before in my life. What do you think, baby ghoul? This place, I can say without a doubt, is like the haunted experience of my dreams or my nightmares. No, this is too good to, to be a nightmare. Now walking through here during the day, as beautiful as it is, it's easy to forget that at night this turns into a haunted house and there are scare actors in here. <laughs> Jessica, did you find a boo hole? Boo hole. <laughs> oh man, we could spend all day here and you know what? I think we probably will. Now more than likely, there's a, well, there's a skeleton over here. I'm sure somebody would be standing right up here on this pedestal in this haunt. All right, so that's like the first part. And there's more. I mean, I've seen things online and it was nothing like this. And this is already amazing. Oh, wow. Now oh, that is just something else. It's a lizard. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is intense. I got chills and it's not because it's cold outside. This is impressive. Oh, wow. All right, baby ghoul. You heard of the wicker man, right? Mm -hmm. I think this is wicker gator. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Now, don't get me wrong. Jessica and I both love being scared. We love going through the haunted houses at night and having characters jump out at us. But there's just something very special about walking through the haunt with the lights on or in broad daylight. You get to see all the details of something like this. All right. Now we're starting to see stuff that we saw online in different pictures. Baby, my knees are shaking. This is beautiful, gorgeous. Oh my gosh. That truly is something else. I will say this, this is a very popular place. There are families coming through, which makes sense because it's a daytime haunt. There's nobody here scaring you, so you can bring your family, you can bring the little ones. They might be a little terrified by some of the tree monsters and creations that they have created, but very family friendly. Now what's really cool about this place, especially this little walkway, as you're walking up to the giant head, they definitely have scares behind you. Look at this devilish face right there. That's intense. It's got an upside down cross and horns and teeth and everything. Wow. All right, through the tree monster's mouth we go. And it looks like it's gonna be spitting us out into some sort of pumpkin patch. There are pumpkins on both sides of the pathway here. Oh, <laughs> can you imagine these all lit up? I'm sorry, jack-o'-lanterns, because they're already carved. And of course, riddled along the path are human remains. I mean, look at that. The detail, the theming. Jessica and I, we love theming. You guys know that. This place, it tops the cake. And I turn around and of course, Jessica has run ahead because she sees the pumpkins. Well, she sensed the pumpkins. Oh my God, this is intense. I was freaking out because of what I see right here, and then I started to look at you, and you're gonna lose it when you see what's over here. Now, in order to properly show you what Jessica's looking at, and you're gonna lose it whenever you see it, we have to walk further into this pumpkin and corn maze. Oh my gosh. There are photo opportunities everywhere. Now, this is not it but there's a giant pumpkin head over here on this barn. Look at that. 
and the castle. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm losing my mind. I will say this. They love their giant faces made out of trees and wood. That thing is magnificent. It's massive. And it's flanked by these giant pumpkin creatures. Oh, for the love of Pete. And seeing all these jack-o'-lanterns down here, you can already tell at night, this place is going to light up. Now what's really unique about this place, not only are you just walking through the woods, but they also have different structures like houses that you can walk into, like little cabins. So you're kind of going up and down different levels. No stairs really. Well, there's a few different stairs, but most of it's ramps. There's Jessica over there. We're about ready to walk into this small little haunted cottage. I don't think there's anything spooky inside the house, but it definitely adds to the ambiance of everything. We're just walking through these different buildings. They have some stuff in here. <laughs> Baby, we need a cornstalk maze in our house. Here's another boo hole right there. <laughs> the pumpkin scarecrow? Yes. Oh my gosh. So pretty much every time you turn a corner or come out of a house, you're greeted with something visually haunting. I mean, look at that. Remember that little shed that was behind us that had the giant pumpkin head on it? See, the path brings you right around to that. Oh, man. On the other side of the corn stalks, this is where you get the photo from. Look at that. Something else, that's for sure. Baby ghoul, you gotta be in your glory with this many pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns surrounding you. Like, that big one that's above your head, if we could take that home with us on the airplane, I promise you, we would. And I do want to point this out. All these jack-o'-lanterns are actually carved. They're not fake. They are real. Real pumpkins here in the haunt. So kudos to you guys for doing this. All of these pumpkins we need our house to look like this. Again, they're all real. They're all carved by the people here on the farm, Haunted Overload. And then right behind it all is the giant pumpkin king. Jessica, you got to be losing it. <laughs> look at that thing. Yeah, there's no way in heckins that you can buy that. You gotta make things like this. And that's what sets this place apart from everybody else. Oh my word. This is horrifying. Beautiful, but horrifying. Now walking through this building in the daylight might be a little hard to see, but there are skeletons behind me right there and up here on the ceiling. You see them up there? Look at that. Oh man, it's like a chandelier of skeletons and skulls. Definitely need this in our house, our main hallway. As soon as you walk in, everything about it is just, this is beautiful. And they are everywhere in here with cobwebs covering every single one of them. Wow. Now, if I didn't love horror, I'd definitely say that this place would give me nightmares. Look at it. I just want to take them all home, give them all a little bit of love, but this is where they belong. Now on the other side of the castle, there's another giant haunting structure. I mean, look at this place. I am, I am in constant awe. You go through one building, you turn a corner and you're constantly asking yourself, my God, what is next? <laughs> oh man, the fact that they built all this and it's still standing, whew, geez Louise.
All right, I think I lost Jessica. She's in here somewhere. Right now I'm standing in a dark room underneath it all. Now, I was wondering why Jessica ran ahead. And here's why. She found more pumpkins. I love corn mazes. And the fact that this is lined with also hay bales and pumpkins and creepy people and monsters. I love it even more. Oh my word. Jessica, you are going to lose your mind. This is creepy. What on earth is this? <laughs> now trust me when I tell you this, I want to go further, but I also just want to stay here and just look at this all day long. Can you imagine walking through this at night with people scaring you and lights and sound? This could be truly terrifying. I mentioned earlier that this is the only thing that we're filming today. And then we got a couple hour drive further north towards Maine. But after seeing all these different photo opportunities and imagining what they look like at night, I kind of want to spend the night here and come back and do this at night. It's so very tempting. <sighs> but is it going to be any better than this during the daytime seeing it all? <sighs> How can it get better than, I mean, it always gets better. It always does. But this is truly, truly amazing. All right, now that we got our photos, let's walk down through the crypt. Oh man, I love this place. This place is something else. Oh my gosh. It just keeps going. It's a crypt in the woods. All right, out of the crypt and into a cemetery. Oh my. Again, these are all made. They didn't buy any of this stuff. This is something else that we've seen online quite a bit. People getting photos in front of this mansion, this Victorian haunted mansion in the woods. It truly is breathtaking. Now we see a lot of haunts and a lot of spooky things, real and created across the country. At one point do you say, this is better than anything I've ever seen in my life, especially in our travels. Well, let's see here. I'll try to line up the shot. Now in all of our travels, Jessica and I, we've seen some pretty amazing things from real life horror to things that people have created from haunts that you walk through and haunts that you just sit through and experience. But at what point do you actually say, this is the best, that there's nothing better than this. I think Haunted Overload is it.
and I think we're only about halfway through this place. <sighs> I want to live here. You can't live here, but I want to live here. This is our home. This is the new Grimm Manor. <sighs> and you know what? I really like that the skeletons that they have here and the monsters and the ghouls, it's not too much, I guess you should say. It's all well done. Creepy as heckins, but well done. I mean, look at these corpses over here. Okay, this is, this is pretty intense. There's that one there. Oh my god. I want to visit this house every single day. Now these are definitely some creepy, creepy haunted nuns. Or dead nuns, I should say. Creepy, for sure. And of course, there's a coffin. You can get inside it. Oh, baby, this one actually fits. I'm gonna scare little kids. There's an echo in here. Spent so much time gawking at the front of this house, I didn't realize you can actually go into the haunted house. All right, let's do it. Oh yeah. It's like the back door, the creepy back door. <laughs> and it's built around the tree? Oh, that's intense. Next room is looking a little darker, but that's okay. Because our camera works wonders in low light. So it's like a tarot table. Those are all tarot cards. Gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, that scared me. What was it like an old photograph? <laughs> oh God, all right, there we go. It got me again. Oh my God, I oh. think was turned on. Right, right? Oh man, my heart's fluttering a little bit. That's not fair. All right, so this is like an old photography studio and as you walk in, it triggers something. And it's a flash. <laughs> Baby ghoul. This is amazing. Like it just keeps getting better and better and better. I wasn't expecting any kind of a jump scare and I just screamed twice <laughs> during a day walk. I watched you and then I screamed as it went off again. Oh, wow. Wow, this is amazing. This is beautiful. This is, this is, I keep saying beautiful, but I'm telling you what, it does not do this place justice. I'm officially going to go on record in saying this. We love Halloween Horror Nights. We love Knott's Scary Farm. We love, we love all kinds of horror activities and haunted houses, but every year we are going to be coming back to Salem as well as Lee, New Hampshire, which is where this place is <sighs> to do this because this is, this is incredible. This is incredible. Now coming out the other side of the house, it looks like we're coming up on something like Gallows Hill. There's people hanging or people that have been hung. This is intense. Oh, there's a sack rip open over here and you can actually see a face. All right, wow. And again, another building that we can walk into. Oh gosh. This is pretty grotesque in here. So this is like walking through the old barn and the family who lived in this house obviously 
has a little secret they've been keeping from the town. If your barn is full of rotting bodies. At least it doesn't smell like rotting bodies. Yeah, it does, <laughs> just because you're going, all right, all right, all right. Oh, this truly is intense. Cadaver. Holy cadaver. Holy cadaver. Jessica, there are bodies in burlap sacks over here in this corner. There's a couple more over here. There's one right there. There's this one. We just walked out through a barn in a, you know, an alleyway made of giant twigs, pieces of trees. But this kind of, I think it's because we're like so close to Salem and New England that it feels like this is very witchcrafty, doesn't it? Now, before we walk any further, there's a couple different people that aren't in burlap sacks laying here on tables that look very, very lifelike. Well, this guy over here, he has an eyeball that's kind of looking at us a little funky. But yeah, all tied up. I've never wanted to take my time walking through a haunt like I do right now. And in through another piece of property, another shed. What is going on here? The face on that one's too real. Look at her and that chest plate. Why can't we have fences like this at our home in Hollywood? Can you imagine what our neighbors would think? <laughs> they might complain a little. <laughs> That's okay. At least they wouldn't be coming over to borrow sugar. <laughs> Is that the giant pumpkin face that you were looking for? Yeah. Out of everything here, this is one of the things that Jessica was most excited to see. It's like a giant oversized jack-o-lantern turn the corner into the sun and we get this hideous looking figure but right behind him is a pumpkin faced train you know this thing is going to be loud at nighttime right and bright look how large that light is oh gosh that is like a spotlight in your eyeballs i have to back up a little bit to get all of this in there well, as much as I possibly can. This place feels never ending. Walk through a cemetery, into a crypt, into another cemetery, into a haunted house, out into a field, into another haunted house. Barn full of bodies, people hanging. <sighs> Every corner, it's something. Oh my gosh. How did we miss, how, how did they hide? that giant freaking locomotive when we walked around. Always look up. That thing is, uh, holy, that's intense. I love that as you walk through the haunt, you keep going in and out of different structures, but it's all outside. Oh my God. The fact that there's leaves falling, dead leaves everywhere, is just adding to the creepy factor of walking through this place. Well, this looks like something bad happened here. I know what happened here. A little saw chopping people in half. You wanna know what happened here? What happened here? Falling walnuts. 
Falling walnuts? Oh, that's, thank you. Thank you for bringing that one back up, Dora the Grim Explorer. <laughs> Next up, it looks like we have some more haunting figures, as well as another entrance into a giant wooden structure. <laughs> I feel like I'm a little too tall for this one, baby ghoul. Like, I'm going to have to duck down a little bit. And there are corpses in here. Of course there's corpses in here. Is that a witch house? Oh, what kind of creature is this? Children made out of twigs? Has to be. This looks like this is a work of a witch. I don't know if I could live in a shack in the woods, but if we did, I think our shack in the woods would kind of look like that. Now, before we walk into this building, there's one thing here on the porch that we should kind of talk about. And that's this guy here. If you look very closely, basically, the baby's body has been turned into a banjo. That's right. Banjo baby. All right, in we go. We thought we were close to the end, but I don't think we are. There's a deer head up there on the wall. Now you couldn't see this from the other side of the wall, but I'm guessing this is the witch on the front porch. Man, she is hideous, that's for sure. Kind of giving me Jason Voorhees vibes. I'm not gonna lie, one of my favorite things about this place, aside from the structures, is just walking the pathway with these <laughs> monstrous figures on either side beckoning you to just keep coming forward or to run away but you really have no choice you just got to keep going forward it's like an old village it kind of reminds me of resident evil village doesn't it baby girl yeah it does it's very wicker man meets witches meets your nightmares right look at this guy over here you can hear people in the background further behind us on the trail, kind of scared. Now, technically at the time of filming this, it's the Saturday before Halloween, the weekend before Halloween. And a lot of families are coming here and there's a lot of kids are having fun. Some of them are actually getting scared. But because of it, there's a, a tombstone right there. <laughs> oh, geez. But because of it, a whole bunch of people are going through. So we're kind of stepping off to the side so we can let families do what they need to do. That looks real, the eyes. Eyes are so good here. And then we can just walk through and film very slowly at our own pace. Oh, man. I love the trails they create. I feel like we're going to get attacked by witches at any moment. Like what's around this corner? Now Jessica, she's a little ahead of me right now because we're gonna about to see something that's pretty amazing. Ready for it? It's this church out in the middle of the woods. Look at this thing. And of course, they build it. To be completely honest with you guys, not much really scares me. Loud noises, of course, and haunted houses, but whenever it comes to movies, horror, I just enjoy it and I find myself laughing all, all the time. But one thing, one horror genre that always gets me is religious horror. So I see this and it kind of makes me weak in the knees. I think the time has come. Let's get inside this church and see what kind of horrific things we can find. Oh, 
<laughs> Baby Ghoul. This is straight out of a nightmare. And when you're in here, these monks or nuns, ghastly ghoulish creatures, whatever you want to call them, look behind them because there's faces and upside down crosses carved into the walls. Some of them all the way through, which makes the light shine right into the church here. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little, uh, not choked up. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little, uh, a little scared just sitting here looking at this thing. Now Jessica's already moved ahead, the explorer that she is. So let's go ahead and catch up with her. Are you freaking out what's in the, about what's in the next room? No? Oh, it's the mansion again. I love that every time you come out of a building or go around the corner, it just wraps you all the way around like a good story, right? Whoever is building these structures, whoever is imagining these, has some imagination, that's for sure. There's a kid there with his eyeballs in his hands. That's a little disturbing. Again, remember our rule about looking up? Inside this building, up here in the rafters, there's a whole bunch of creepy baby dolls. Personally, I don't find baby dolls creepy, but there's just something about these ones here, like this guy right in the middle, Look at him, Jessica. He can, he's very realistic looking, very lifelike. Look at these characters over here. Hey, I don't know what it is about these guys, but they definitely got some realistic looking faces on them. All right, baby girl. I think that's about it for Haunted Overload here in Lee, New Hampshire. We've been wanting to do this ever since we saw pictures of this years ago, really. Yeah. What'd you think of it? My mind is blown. Um, Overload is properly a description of this place. <laughs> I, uh, my brain's a little fried and scrambled. I'm just overly happy to be here. I've wanted to come here for a long time and I can't even like complete a thought. So back to you. This, and this was just the daytime. They do a whole, it's the same exact thing at nighttime, but they have scare actors and lights and sounds, and I'm guessing fog and all that jazz. But don't get me wrong, we love all that stuff for sure. But we found that one of the things that we absolutely love to do is see all the artistry that goes into this. So if you love Halloween and you want that extra look into the haunt, this is what you want to do. Yeah. The lights on tour, well, lights on daytime walkthrough of Haunted Overload. It was like $8 too. Dirt freaking cheap, but worth every penny. But that being said, from Haunted Overload in Lee, New Hampshire, thank you for joining us on another grim adventure. And as always, Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that his state? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a coming my way. 